Welcome to WBP Stars. Welcome to Restaurant Bonbon in Brussels, Belgium. Uh, I present you the second uh, dish, uh, Bonbon Origin. Um, originally, uh, this dish is a carbonate uh, de bœuf à la flamande. It means it's a stew, uh, beef stew, braised with uh, mustard, beer, and um, onion, carrots, and um, uh, uh, finishing with parsley. So what I made with this dish, I took all the elements, I transformed completely the recipes, and I, uh, I uh, made it in a modern way. So um, to prepare this dish, I prefer to, to use this kind of meat. This is beef chicks, raw beef chicks, and it's coming from Belgium. So it will be braised with beer, first of all, braised with beer, and after we will cut them and leave it for a while in the uh, stew juice. So uh, all the elements originally, it's, uh, it's served in a bowl um, with uh, potato puree, and fresh parsley. It's very traditional uh, uh, Belgian food. And uh, I changed completely my mind to, to present it in my restaurant, in a high level uh, uh, quality restaurant. So, I show you, I braised the chicks for three hours in beer with uh, fresh tomatoes and um, carrots, onion, mustard, brown beer. Um, uh, bay leaves, uh, onion, and um, and uh, brown beer. Here you are. So what I'm gonna do now? It's uh, roasted them in a special way. Please come. I got here uh, breadcrumbs with uh, garlic, um, a bit um, sh sugar, but uh, isomalt sugar, breadcrumbs. Uh, po uh, powder of onion, and I'm gonna pass through the meat through the through this uh, breadcrumbs like this this way. Well, originally, also the uh, carb carbonate. It means in uh, in French uh, cooked a during a long time on the on the charcoal, and that's why. Uh, we, we call it uh, carbonade. It's etymologic uh, of, uh, of the, the words. It's coming from there. Charcoal uh, cooking time. I'm going to use a bit olive oil, pan fried. Actually, it's very important to to put all the face of the meat in the breadcrumbs. Otherwise, it's going to be not good looking. Medium temperature. So now we go, you see, it's going to change in the pan. What I told you, it's take all the surface of the meat. The, vid, the, the meat is very, uh, very braised and uh, it's soft in the mouth. Necessary for this kind of, uh, of uh, this kind of meat, it's necessary to braise it for a long time. It's a stew.
can smell the onion flavor on the on the meat. So now look the very nice black color with onion flavor on it. Here you are. So what I'm gonna do now is starting to plate the dish. All the all the element of the carbonate. So first of all the meat in the middle. What we find in the recipe, it's onion. So I made a little uh, pickled onion to, to bring uh, freshness in the plate. What we have also, it's carrot. I made a very nice carrot puree on it, this way. What, I, what we made here, it's one of the uh, ingredients we find in uh, all the beers in Belgium. It's uh, malt, it's um, uh, brown malt. And uh, we made a jelly with it. And I bring this on the, on the carrots to make a, to give a, a very nice level to the carrot puree. Important, the first day we finish the dish, when you finish the dish, we make a puree to bring also something rich in flavor, fresh herbs. What I made here, it's, uh, I took back the, the juice of the, the braising pot. Also in the dish, this is some little slice of bread, toasted slice of bread. Usually we, to, um, to make the liaison in the dish, we use, a, we use a piece of bread with a mustard on it. And it's a powder mustard. It's desiderated uh, mustard from Gand area. What I'm gonna do also it's bay leaves oil, made homemade bay leaves oil. That's what we put also in the stew when we cooked the, the meat. It's gonna bring also a bit uh, um, freshness in the dish. And we are finishing with the stew juice. Here you are, carbonade à la flamande, more than way. Mustard condiments.